Hey everyone, welcome to this introductory video on a Drupal core module named Views. Views originally was a contributed module. What this means is that the module had to be downloaded separately to then be added to the website to extend the functionality of the website. But as of Drupal 8 and in Drupal 9, Views is now part of core, of part of Drupal's core. The reason being is simply because every Drupal site at, as of now, as far as I can tell, uses this module. Um, I think roughly 600,000 Drupal sites are now using this module. And essentially what this module does is it allows you to display particular type of content to users. So for example, take this um, search result page on Amazon. Highlighted here, you can see the content. You can see a list of iPads now, this is what Views is able to do. Views is able to gather all content that you specify it to gather and it displays it to your users. As well as displaying content, it can also allow you to create filters on the left-hand side or wherever you want to place that um, filter. The filter essentially allows um, your users to then filter out particular content or products or items that they do not want to see or perhaps they do want to see and highlighted here in this yellow box is the sort by so i'm sure most of you guys know i'm sure all of you have done online shopping at least once that anytime you're shopping you kind of go to the sort by and you begin to sort by low to high on the price or high to low or perhaps you sort by relevant views allows you to do just that now although we have a listing page like this where you have um, content above content you could also have it displayed like this you can have content displaying however you want it to display. It doesn't necessarily have to be row after row. It could be side by side. It could be you have um, a feature content and then um, the sub featured content showing next to it. It, it. it is entirely up to you how you want to display it. As well as being able to create pages like this, listing pages like what we saw on the previous page on Amazon and BBC News, you can also create what we call in Drupal blocks and essentially you could create something like this. So highlighted here in the purple, sorry, purple slash pink magenta box, this essentially is also a view. Now again, Fox News, as far as I know, was not created using Drupal. However, with Drupal views, you are able to create a block that you can display on the homepage, listing perhaps maybe you want to display the latest blog post on your website, or perhaps the latest product on your website. Views allows you to display just that. So the reason why I'm starting off with views is because I see views as a gateway into touching different aspects of Drupal. So for example, with when working with views, you are more than likely to be using content types. Now content types are, as it says, it's types of content. So for example, your website might display um, news articles. It could be displaying um, perhaps basic pages. It could be displaying perhaps content on cars. So content types allows you to separate the kind of content you display on your website. Another part of views is the ability to set blocks on particular pages. So in the previous um, slide that I showed you guys, I showed you where you can set a particular um, block of content on a page. That is what blocks is in Drupal. You are able to set particular content on particular parts of your page. The theme layer. Now, if you saw on a BBC News slide, you could see that the content was displayed. You could see a list of content, but it wasn't displayed in the traditional um, row by row. It was displayed differently. So we'll be touching on how to display content, how you want it to be displayed instead of following the conventional line after line. And also, for example, Views allows you to work with dynamic content within context. So what this means is that, for example, let's say you have a website and you allow users to register and start posting their blog posts onto your website. Now, if I wanted to see the posts that I've posted on a website, I could then click on my profile accounts and I should see a list of all content that I have posted. I don't want to see content of everybody else's posts. I just want to see content that I have posted. Views allows you to do just that.